when problems come your way, think about the positive. Think about the good things that are coming in or going on in your life. I believe what demons try to do is try to get you to focus on the negative. For instance, in my life, there are some negative things going on there. But compared to the good things that are going on in my life, there is so much more good things than bad things going on in my life. But what I believe what demons try to do is to get you locked in, to get you focused on the bad things that are happening to where it may seem like there is more bad than good when possibly in your life that isn't true. For instance, I have some advantages that some people don't have in life. Not to say that I am filthy rich because I am not. Not even middle class. I would say <laughs> more than likely very low class, which is okay with me. I believe I would be ungrateful or not appreciative if I were to only focus on the bad things that are going on in my life more than the good things. And I believe this happens to me so much. A bad thing or a big bad thing may come and it may feel like the bad is taking up so much space in my mind than the good. But much of the time I have to snap myself out of it and in a sense be like, hey, Kevin, so many good things are happening to you. Like to name, I guess some, you know, I have a car. Some people don't even have a car. As you can see, I have food to eat. I am surely not starving. I can walk, I can speak. I can eat on my own and I don't need any tubes to feed me and stuff like that. I have no cancer. I don't have HIV. I don't have STDs and stuff like that. So when it comes down to the bad, if I would take out time to list them, I probably can count on both hands how many issues I have now, as in how many problems I have now. Surely it is not more than 10. What I like to do, and you may consider this as well, maybe if you have time, List the problems you have, I guess, from least to greatest. And if it be possible, handle one issue at a time. If you look everything, if you look at everything as a whole, like it may overwhelm you. Like you may look at everything and think to yourself, this is too much. But take care of each issue one at a time. 
for instance, let's say that you have uh, six issues. And one of your issues is, I guess the least of your issues are uh, your car is not operating correctly. Okay, try to ignore the other issues and zoom in on getting your car fixed. Then once you get your car fixed, cross it off on your list. Then look at the next issue. Let's say that your next issue is solving a problem with a co-worker. Okay, focus in on that. Try to ignore the other problems. Once you get that solved, then you go to the next and to the next and to the next. This is what I do. I don't really write them down, but I guess sometimes I do. You may have an issue on your list that may take a lot of time to solve. That is okay. Keep it on the list, but focus on the issues that is less than that problem. And I believe if you handle your issues like this, you may feel less overwhelmed. I am telling you. I remember some time ago, was it a year or two ago? I'm not sure. But there were so many things I had to get done or things to, I guess, to resolve, if I can say it in that way. And to look at everything, per se, to know that what I have to get completed, like, I believe I thought to myself, this is way too much. And if I remember correctly, that may have brought stress to me. We should not be placing unnecessary stress upon ourselves. If there's something you can't fix, you can't fix, put it at the end of the list. Pray about it. Focus on the things that you can fix. Focus on fixing one issue at a time. As for myself, there are some issues in my life. I am praying about them, but I am not God to where I can determine the time and the date and this and that and stuff like that. So, in a sense, I try to not really meditate on them. Sometimes, you know, I may entertain them sometimes or whatever, but I try to focus on what I can fix on what uh, may not be so hard to resolve. Anyways, to get back to my point, don't let demons try to make you feel overwhelmed by the problems you have in life. Go through problems the proper way, but choose to not forget about the good things that are happening in your life now. And I truly believe in what you should probably do too, is write down the good things that are happening to you in life, the good things you have.
this is a list of some of the good things in my life. I can really think of some more and place them on this list. The bad that is going on in my life now is not as much as the good things that are on that list. When demons try to remind you of the bad that happened to you and is happening to you, remind yourself of the good that happened to you and that is happening to you now. Does that make any sense? Because if you mainly focus on the negative that is happening to you now, how do you believe you are going to feel? Like what mindset are you going to be? I believe you won't feel too well. Maybe you will, you will feel overwhelmed or betrayed, so on and so on. When bad things are happening to you, I believe it helps, well, it helps me to think about the positive. It's easy, I think, to stay mad and think about what another person has done to you. Joey did this. Emily did that. Jackie did this. Naming random names. Jonathan, Jonathan betrayed me in this way. Okay, fine. But what good is happening in your life now? What did God do for you back in the past? What is God doing for you now? What conveniences do you have in life right now? I hope this makes sense. But let me stop here. May God bless us.